In CVP analysis, we categorize the cost into two types as either fixed or variable. Now I think it's clear for you. So we are going to discuss the advanced part. What is this lesson? CVP analysis. I am going to show you a nice formula. Understand carefully. If you feel that you did not get something, you have to reverse the video and see. Okay. Then, when you take the cost of a business, then I, according to this relationship, I can say fixed cost plus variable cost fixed cost plus variable cost what is this this is the total cost is that clear fixed cost plus variable cost is the total cost if I add the profit Fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit. Think what is that? Total cost, the amount which I spent, that plus the amount I added for the profit margin. Then what comes? That should be the selling price. Is it clear? This is sales. Fixed cost plus variable cost is the total cost. That plus profit is what? Sales. Not hard. If you understand that, shall I summarize this? Without writing fix or shall write as FC, this is variable cost. VC profit is P equals to sales. Now see this relationship. See, this is the total fixed cost of the business. Huh? This is the total variable cost of the business. Total profit, the total sales. Then, in this formula, fixed cost, shall I write again here? I'll take the sales to here. Right. Sales equals fixed cost plus variable cost plus profit. Then take this sales here and I'll take this variable cost this side from the equation from the equal sign. This minus variable cost. Sales minus variable cost equals what? Fixed cost plus profit. Is it clear? Now sales minus variable cost. In accounting, in management accounting, we use a nice name for this part. Sales minus variable cost. Sales minus variable cost. This is contribution. This is contribution. The other side. Fixed cost plus profit. This also what? This also contribution. Is that clear? Contribution is a name, right? We use for this answer. Sales minus variable cost. There are some important facts you have to understand. I think this part is clear. And see this. Sales minus variable cost. For this we use a nice term, nice name. That is what? Contribution. Fixed cost plus profit. That also equals to sales minus variable cost. What is that? Contribution. I'll take a simple example. Say as an example in a business, their total fixed cost is rupees sixty thousand. Their total variable cost is rupees eighty thousand. They 
want to have a profit of rupees twenty thousand. Then you can calculate what should be their sales. If the fixed cost is sixty thousand and the variable cost is eighty thousand, add these two. That is one hundred and forty thousand. This is the total cost of the business. Their total cost is hundred forty thousand, and they want to earn a profit of twenty thousand. One forty plus twenty, that is hundred and six thousand. Clear? Therefore, if this relationship, if that comes here, sales minus variable cost, they are sales one hundred six thousand. That minus, they are variable cost is eighty thousand. Equals, what is the fixed cost? Six thousand, right? Their profit is twenty thousand. Then see whether what I explained is correct. Hundred and six thousand minus eighty thousand. What is this? Eighty thousand. That is correct division. Sixty plus twenty. That also eighty thousand. So what is this? This also contribution. You all understand. There are two ways, two methods to calculate what contribution. Is that clear? That will be important for you for the next things. Uh, you better take another example. I'll give you a sum. Before the sum, I'll show you something. That is, this is how you calculate the contribution, right? So, in a business, in a business, their total fixed cost is, their total fixed cost is one hundred fifty thousand, right? Then the variable cost. But I, I am going to express this. That's per unit variable cost per unit. Rupees thirty. Then selling price. Okay, SP that is selling price. Ah, huh? selling price that also per unit. Selling price per unit. Rupees. Eighty. Okay. My first question is, I want, I want contribution per unit. Right. Second part. Second part I want is. Total contribution if the business sales uh, say fifty thousand, maybe not fifty thousand. Say uh, sales minus sales fifty thousand. Just take twenty thousand. Units. Okay, quickly calculate the answers and upload your answers. Then, when I see the answers, I can upload the next part of the video. Thank you.